Hey, I'm Jimmy. I've been living and working in the Philippines for three and a half years. In that time, I've seen and experienced all the beauty and wonders that this country has to offer. I've also seen and experienced all the fucking bullshit that this country has to offer. And here's one of them. You have a gigantic hole in the sidewalk. How do you fix it? Put a fucking garbage can in it. I'm a young guy, and clearly I don't suffer from erectile dysfunction. But that doesn't stop this guy right here from selling me some Cialis. What is this? Cialis. Huh? Cialis. What is that for? Cialis. Oh, for... For a long time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But why would I need that? Isn't that for, like, older people? It's okay. Even, even young, it's okay. <laughs> Touch my guy. Touch my guy. <laughs> As you can see, sanitation and refrigeration is thrown out the fucking window here in the Philippines. You hungry? I'm not. You know what I love? Milfs. You know what really pisses me off? Terrorists. Look what we have here. Front page news. AFP pushes back MILF. MILF. MILF here in the Philippines stands for Moro Islamic Liberation Front. This is the name for the terrorist group here in the Philippines. Terrible. So here's another thing that pisses me off about the Philippines. Take a look at that construction site. It doesn't look safe. And here in the Philippines, you're not actually required to finish the project that you've started. This is why everything in this fucking country is under construction. It's so fucking annoying. Flawless white. Healthy white. More healthy white. Healthy white. Next shelf. Milk whitening lotion. Whitening lotion. They have an obsession with looking as white as possible. So although naturally their skin tone would be dark because of the warm climate and the sun 365 days out of the year, they go above and beyond and out of their way to buy all of these intensive whitening lotion. Intensive whitening lotion. <laughs> There's also a lot of traffic, which creates a lot of filth and pollution. And what's that get you? A hot, sticky mess. <laughs> Disgusting. Alrighty. Thank you. So I just went into the pharmacy to buy some gum. A small package of gum. Not only did I buy the gum, I also got a plastic bag and a receipt stapled to it, which pisses me off in many ways. Why? Because it wastes time. She wastes time to wrap it in plastic, to put the receipt, then to staple it. And not only that, you're creating more litter. There's plastic all over the streets here in the Philippines. It's, it's a complete waste. It's a waste of time and it's a waste of resources really pisses me off. <laughs> Shitty drivers. In the Philippines, nobody follows the traffic laws. I see this shit every day. <laughs> some metal. So here in the Philippines, it's not a bathroom or a toilet. It's a comfort room or a CR. There's nothing comfortable about 99% of the CRs that I've ever been in. 
No toilet paper. How the fuck can anyone wipe their ass? They don't have toilet paper. They don't have toilet paper dispensers. They usually don't have running water. Thank God this one has a toilet seat. The amount of times I've gone into a CR and there's no toilet seat. There's no fucking toilet seat. Why isn't there a toilet seat? I mean, how do you do it? And then you come over here and you have this ledge and apparently, I don't know, there's piss here on the floor, so then you stand here where you actually pee over and it's supposed to be better. This basically looks like a heroin den. You might be thinking, okay, well, he just went to some rough area. Most of the CRs don't look like this. Let me assure you that they all do. They're not comfortable. They're uncomfortable. There's security guards everywhere. Just over my shoulder, this is just a, a standard hotel. There's two security guards just standing there, giggling, laughing, smiling, having a great, great time. I'd just like to know what is it that they're actually doing. If, if I was in trouble, would I really trust my fate in the smiley, giggly guy over there? I don't even know if those guns work or if they're real. But if you look everywhere, you got security guards there, you got security guards there, you got security guards right there. They're everywhere. But none of them are ever doing anything. There's another one over there. There's no training re required. It, it, that's clear as day. If I wanted to, I could go into the department store and I could buy the whole kit. I could get kitted out just like that guy, go buy a gun for maybe the equivalent of $40 on the street and be fully kitted out security guard and go do whatever he's doing there. Blowing his whistle, stopping traffic, smiling, giggling, watching me talk about him. I mean, clearly he should be doing something security-based, but he's just watching me. And pretty much the most secure thing I ever see them doing is catching some Z's. The amount of times that I've seen a security guard sleeping on the job, in three and a half years, it's, it's got to be close to a thousand times. If it smells like a toilet, now you know why. Pissing anywhere you want is a Filipino tradition. It's almost like in America, baseball. It's like their favorite pastime. You got to pee, you go. Just make sure you shake. So here in the Philippines, Basically, you're greeted at every storefront with a heavy petting and a nice little frisk. Watch this. So what was he searching for? So like in America, basically, your horn you use in emergency situations. This guy's beeping again, he's, he's beeping. The taxi cab could be totally filled. He'll just beep to let you know that, hey, he saw you. I'm gonna beep to let you know that I saw you, but my car's full and I can't pick you up. He's beeping, he's, he's ready to go, he's beeping. He's beeping, look at that, he's ready. He slows down, he's beeping, beep. Slowing down. If you beeped your horn like that in America, someone would chase you down to your house and knock the shit out of you. They're just beeping. They're beeping to beep. Beeping to beep. Give me a beep. Want to give me a beep? Just give me a beep. Just give me a beep. Beep it up. Always beeping. There's a beep. Here in the Philippines, they actually created a job for someone to cut these napkins into this size. This isn't how they come in the store. Someone actually takes time out of their day to cut them into these small, useless sizes. And this is the end result. Beggars, everywhere you go. And the thing is, I feel bad for them, but it's, it's illegal to give them money. So I have no problem giving them food, if I have extra food, or even buying them food. But when they ask for money, it's very suspicious because of the fact that they're probably working for a pimp or their mother or father are pimping them out in order to get coins, bring them back. And there's a good chance that they might not even see those coins turn into food. And it's sad, it sucks. But it's, it's, it's annoying.
what time of day it is, you can't escape the cock. Everybody has a chicken, even in the city. So the day's almost over, and here comes the night. The top 40s are going to be blasting all night long. And most of the time, all you're going to hear is low-end bass blasting every direction. Now it's coming over there. It was just over there. Now it's over here. It's... It's... I got to get out of here. It's killing me. So it's nighttime in Cebu. We're heading over to Mango Square. This place is pretty ridiculous. There's a number of things that could piss me off, or piss any tourists off for that matter. Ladyboys, crazy prostitutes, an overabundance of drunk Koreans that don't speak English. This is basically the red light district of Cebu on crack. So let's see if we can find something that pisses you off. Look at this, fucking cockroaches everywhere. Daytime, nighttime, in your house, on the street, they're everywhere. Look at that thing. He's gonna get hit by a car, hopefully. Shit. They're disgusting. People expect tips for the tiniest of tasks, whether it's backing you up out of a parking spot or hailing you a taxi that's right in front of you. It fucking pisses me off. See, like this guy. Here's a perfect example. He's probably gonna ask him for a tip. The reality of it is he's probably just confusing the driver more than he's helping him. Ugh. Ugh. Here's another one. I mean, it's a gigantic parking spot. It's not like, I mean, yes, it's a truck, but it's not, it's not a fucking lorry. And he get, throws his elbow on the back and he's just waiting, <laughs> waiting for the goodness. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's very kind of you. Bye-bye. Why is it that every hot girl in the Philippines is a lady? While I'm at it, I might as well inform you there's tons of fucking Koreans in the Philippines. Here's the problem with Koreans. They, ha they hang out in large groups, packs, like fucking wolves. They don't speak any English, they're loud, and they're obnoxious. And to be honest, the Filipinos don't really fucking care for them either. Be careful. Some boy, turn up and look at jump and think and turn up and what do you Motorcycles here are ridiculous. They're glorified scooters. They're not even motorcycles. They just put a loud exhaust on it so it sounds like a fucking Harley. It's so fucking annoying. Control, control, you don't control the, day. the Philippines is a beautiful place at the end of the day. It's filled with over 7,000 islands, friendly people. The food isn't so good. It's a bit noisy and it's really dirty. So if you're planning on staying for an extended period of time, be prepared to be pissed off. Warm. Fuck. 